Hello everyone, General Apple here and welcome back to another Dredge video. So we're gonna continue right where we left off last time. Which is a stellar basin and we need to talk to the researcher. Someone from the Ironhaven Corporation sent me. I didn't expect that Ning to follow me all the way out here. Perhaps that was naive of me. So what do you want? Oh, we have so many things. The Iron Ever Corporation has been constructing a drilling platform. Oh, and you're helping them with that, I suppose. Do you have any idea what they're even doing? She turns away and tries to recompose herself with a few deep breaths. Mm. Of course you don't. You're just trying to help. But you've seen what happened to the water here and elsewhere, I imagine. Iron Ever Corporation head scientist seems to know you. And I know him. He's the reason I was posted all the way back, uh, all the way out here, so far from home. He might have mentioned that I studied under him, but I studied him too. His theories on nature cycles were odd. He never went into much detail, but his words had some curious influence. I heard whispers through the door of his office, saw confusing diagrams that lingered in half-erased chalk dust and torn up shreds of paper. Hmm. Never could make much sense of it. Tell me about the defensive tech you've been working on. <clears throat> well, it's the same tech used in the repulsion machine I gave you. <sighs> Strictly speaking, I wouldn't call it a defense system. It doesn't interact with anything on a physical level. You see, Iron Heaven Science Scientific Communi Communication Division have long been working on projects to further their ex exertion over the natural mm. world. It's complicated stuff, but essentially they were trying to emit signals to communicate with, well, anything. They wanted to, I suppose. The tech I've been working on is along those lines, but instead of a wide spectrum of communication, it attempts to broadcast a single word. Flee. It emits the vocalization panic response of every animal I was able to gather the acoustic data for. Oh! We need to protect the rig and its workers. I couldn't give a damn about the rig or the corp, but not everyone there deserved to face the consequences of the corp's action. I'll give you some schematics. I'm sure someone there is smart enough to decipher them and get it built. Mm. Just don't let them think this means I forgive them or that I approve of what they were doing. Okay. Fairly simple. So, just so I understand, I need to give it to them. Collect samples. Yeah, I need to do that. Build defenses. So, the researcher provides some schematics. I should build them. Alright, fair enough. Let's see the thing. Yeah, we need to activate it, right? Where was it again? It was here. So it's just so I'll be sure. Let's see if it's there. Snailfish. Where are the oil drops? Oh, they're not in, so I don't have to activate it. Great. So, let's use haste. I don't need to make that damn thing flee. So, first thing first, we had to put our troll net out. And we have a crab pot, which I guess we'll throw right here. And fish, what the hell is that creature? All right, tripod spider fish. That's one fish down. That's the dredge. And there it is. Ah, oh, man. Got hit by a bubble. There we go, that's the second one. And we also have dredge here, but it's just this, I don't need that. What is this? More dredge. And we got the two of them, the tripod and... Oh, wait. I saw something. Where was it? Oceanic fish. Okay, that's gotta be one of, one of the things I need. Oh yeah, I see them. Wait, there are more that I haven't caught. Damn, I don't really remember the schematics. I'll have to recheck.
Nice, we got a trophy version. And we had one more. Oh, it's the same eagle chart. So, wait, is that everything? I feel like I found all the fish I need. And I don't really remember the rest. Yeah, you only need one of each. And we already got one of each. As it seems. So the only thing I'm missing is the crab trap. Is a thing from the crabs. Which is here. Okay. That's fair enough. Let's see. Uh, where do we have an outpost? I want to rest. What? Dude, I'm always looking at the wrong direction. Where is it? Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Threw the crap out really far away. Oh! It infected my thing. Okay, that kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know if it's good. Let's throw it away and grab a different one. We got it over here. It's haste. And I feel like we have enough ooze for now. There we go. Seems like one of each. So we'll use the crawl net for that. And go to rest at the nearest outpost. We're gonna wait until we hit the crab. Let's see if we got it. The only thing we're missing is the sea slug. There we go, we got it. And pick up, discard, take, <clears throat> pick up, not enough space. That's impossible. Pick up, nice. Okay, that was relatively quick. We can just use manifest. As usual to return. And we'll haste it up. Go all the way back to the rig. Man, I feel like we're close to finishing already. That was super easy. That was super easy. But I guess we already finished the game and we're like maxed out, so it makes sense. We don't have to do much. Oh, wait, the items regenerated? Oh, that's awesome. Wait, what the hell was that? Oh, I thought I saw something. We got a new aberration. <clears throat> Might as well try and get some. Ah, XCL Matrian. That's cool. Uh, let's put... No, we need that. Wait, we have... This, which I don't need. Man, those fishes. Okay, I'm infected constantly. Mm-hmm. Sea slug. There we go. Didn't want to give this one up. Haste. And let's go back to the rig. After we're hitting the rig, I guess we unlock the final location. And damn, if that's it, it's kind of funny, man. That that was a quick DLC. I played less than, no, less than two hours, less than three hours. So that would be actually crazy. The DLC is really short. If that's the case. But it's okay. It's still really good. And doesn't cost a lot. It's a fair price. Oh, defenses. We have something new here. Submit a sample. Uh, take this ugly thing. Enjoy. The scientist arranged the specimen, now laid out on a metal table in front of him. He connects electrodes and wires the head of each. <laughs> Ugh. The brains of fish are primitive. In many ways, their simplicity is kind of purity. No burdensome motions to confuse the data. Just as rigor mortis locks the muscles, the final shape of the mind held by the brain, but it can be extracted. The room is pierced with a sharp sound of cap capacitators, Charging, the corpses on, ben on the bench jolt in unison. Slackened muscles arch and tense before lying still again. Ooh. 
The scientist is already looking at the four mo monitors behind him. The same vague shape scrolls across each screen. Ragged circle. Writing cell. Eyelidless eye. Yawning pit. <laughs> the difficulty is in reading it. <sighs> Don't forget, the rig still needs some kind of defense system constructed. The people here are depending on you, oddly enough. Do you know anything about the prehistoric fish I found? Nothing useful, aside from confirming with some peers that they are indeed species that were previously thought to be extinct. Ah. There's even a special name for that, you know. A Lazarus Taxon, a species seemingly raised from the dead. I've encountered strange creatures in contaminated mm. area. Oh, what did they look like? You begin to describe the creatures through the scientists, but as you grasp at the images in your hand, they melt away, replaced with a swirling blackness in your mind's eye. After a description trails off, the scientist looks at you with some concern. <sighs> Long night at sea, unusual weather condition, sleep deprivation, they can all lead to auditory and visual hallucinations. Not to worry, best to get some rest. Man, uh, don't believe ah. me. So, this is where we're going to build some sort of machine to repel those tentacles, right? That's what the scientist hmm. said. So we need a box and a cell. Good thing we collected a million of those. Let's see. So, net and now we need to put this on us. I should also sell the fish while I'm at it. Ah. Generator. We want him to go bad. Hmm. There we go. Take it. We'll get started. Nice. Fences are prime, turning them on now. This had better run. A droning voice begins to surround to sound from the top of the rig, reverberating through the metal down into the sea. Get a hell away, squid. Nice. He backed off. The defenses are operational, emitting groaning sound that grates the yet ear. Outside, the foreman is, is in conversation with recent arrival to the rig, a stern-looking man in a huh. suit. But sir, the seafood, the seafloor here, it shouldn't be disturbed. This whole rig is built on some kind of living fall. You have to trust oh. me. Trust you. You, who couldn't even keep shipments in order, who involved locals to just save your own hide. The foreman cowers behind a clipboard. <laughs> You, who put this whole operation in jeopardy. Enough of this. Your concern and at still and at end at still and scaffolding. The future of this corporation is for me alone to decide. <laughs> Fire it up. The drill descends once more into the blackness under the rain. Oh, we continue. What's one more crack? The man in suit turns to you, and we're back on track. While he oversteps his corporate responsibility, it appears the foreman was right to enlist your assistance. There's one final building that needs to be constructed on this platform. Fleet services. Without this building, we're unable to scale our efforts efficiently. Oh. I'll cut you a deal if you assist in the construction of this building. I'll permit the workers to fit your vessel with a significant hole upgrade. Oh. After that, I don't want to see you around here anymore. Our operation is confidential. Oh. Get on with it. Oh, finally. We got something. Oh, let's see. What's your opinion of your <laughs> boss? My master? Oh, the executive. Yes, he's everywhere. Very hardworking. Always had been. Always will be. He needs me. My work. It all has to be correct. Do you understand? We have to be in the right place or else there's not much time left. Have you learned anything about the dark fluid I collected? Mm. It's unlike any substance I've ever seen, touched. It's smooth one moment, silky, and the next, sharp, stabby. The scientist flinches at something in the air above him. A moment later, the light flickers. The subtle pop of a blown ca capacitor can be heard somewhere on a nearby bench. His voice drops to a breathy murmur. <sighs> it holds secrets, instructions, whispers. 
You seem concerned. Concerned? No. Concern implies... He turns to look at you. One of his eyes is bloodshot. The white completely overrun with dark red blood. <laughs> Concern implies that we didn't know this would happen. Jesus. Submit simple. The fish from the twisted strand. Do you have them? Okay, we need uh, this big boy, which is a mangrove, which I believe we cannot get, so we need the upgrade. Yes, mangrove and one crab, of course, as usual. So, <clears throat> one crab, two mangrove, and one shallow, sure. Fleet services. Oh. We've got a place operational, or the boss will have my head. One more box. <sighs> Construct. Nice! Everything should be operational here, sir. Excellent. Remember, fisherman, I'll permit the workers to upgrade your hole with our tech huh. here. But I think you know how this works for you by now. You'll have to gather the materials yourself. Ah. Okay. So we got one. Oh, this is how you unlock the upgrade in general. Well, we need one more. Oh, wait, that's it? You only need two boxes and a ton of cash, but the fact that you only need two boxes is kind of cheap. So let's just put them here. I thought you are going to need, like, an abysmal amount of dredge, but that's good. You only need a ton of gold, which I can farm, so that's not an issue. And, of course, mm. we got a foundry, which is tier two. Let's see. Oh, we need another crate. Huh. All right, start by upgrading foundry. Oh, that's big. Should be able to make some better stuff now. Mm. What? Constructing. Oh, you can. Nice. That's cool. You can do the opposite now. You can construct stuff out of. Oh, we can use dark slash and scrap metal to construct. A dark canister. Mm -hmm. That is cool. You can make refined metal with two crates. Mm -hmm. So basically, using crates as currency, you can trade crates for research part, mm -hmm. and you can create metal mm -hmm. scraps. So the hell we can do that? That is great. That is great. So you can turn crates into anything right now. Awesome. I remember that. I mean, it's not crucial. We don't really need it. Because we already have all the upgrades in the game, but if you play this DLC when you just started the game, yo, that's, that's fire. That's really good. That's really good. So I guess now I can do the fish thing, but I kind of want a whole upgrade, so let's see. Do we have anything else? Probably not, right? We unlocked every single tier. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I'll do some farming, actually. I'll do some farming, mm. and I'm pretty sure mm. that's it. I just want to see the final factory. Okay, I got exactly two crates. We ran out of crates. That is kind of a problem. Uh, mm. Mm. But let's see the final tier. Huh. That'll do it for the factory. That's it. Build all levels of building on the rig. We're done. <laughs> Aha! Wait, we don't have a fishing thing? Exotic bait, chunk of flesh, float, and suspension strength liquid. Attracts the rarest of fish. So aberration, right? Or something like that? Cool. Insta crab bait. Fitted with quick release exception immediately attracts the interest on your Oh, that's gonna save me so much goddamn time. But it takes some dark slash rot and mix bait. Okay, that's <laughs> annoying to make. I'll just bait them another way. I don't want to bother. So, I need... Not a volcanic. I need this. How does one make this? Anti-tango line. Which I literally don't have. Crate and a dark canister. Mm. I have dark canister, that's it. I ran out of crates. Mm. Damn. Okay, that's gonna be a difficult one. So, anti-tango line. Mm which we can get from here. Okay, now I got all the money I need. So, we go to the fleet service, new hall. 
Pay up. Additional slots configured. All industrial. Tier 5. Let's see. Oh, it's so... Oh, man. Perfect. Perfect. Wait, we got additional slots for everything? No, that's really sick. Okay, that's really good. That is really, really, really good. And now we need to upgrade our thing. Uh, where is it? Factory. We need the infused coiling rod, which is this. Box. Thank you. Now we can put it here, right? Because of the shape. The shape is cringe. Mm. Hey, but now I believe we just need this, which is the exact same size, and we can put it here, and then we can fish everything, right? Abyssal, Hadal, Oceanic. This for coastal and shallow. This is for mangrove, and this will be for volcanic. Then we can do everything. So we need another crate. Mm. And we need to buy this. We'll buy this later, I guess. Mm. And we have... One canister. I have so many boxes I found. This is great. Uh, wait. Foundry? No. Already made that. I need. Wait, what? 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 What did I need again? Oh, the rod. Yeah, the volcanic. Oh, I have money for that. Great. Okay, so the only thing we're missing is money, I guess. See, tier 4. Factory. It's here. We already have the items. Let's put the canister. So now we need 200. I guess I, I'll farm some more money and just, like, be done with it. Because I know we're gonna need it. There we go. I got all the money needed. Take this. And now we can fish anything we want. So we're pretty much done. We can just make, like, bait. Jesus! $700 for one bait! I mean, it's the rarest of fish. But... Is it really that good? <laughs> Jesus need... I guess this and a canister? I wonder how good <laughs> it is. Like, damn. It might be some sort of an achievement. So now, we the only thing we need to do is go to the Devil's Fine. Uh, I mean, wait, no, we need to go to the Twisted Strand and get all of those fish and one crab. Okay, let's rest. And I believe we've pretty much done everything, right? We got all the necessary fishing tools, everything located at the right spot. So now we're ready to go to the Twisted Strand. At least we reached to the point where everything is super close to the rig. So we don't have to go too far. We just need to find those oil spills. I assume it's not really oil, I just call it oil because it looks like it, but... It's definitely some dark ooze. Some ancient stuff. There we go, that's one thing. Easy. I should also lower my thing so I can at least nab some more. There we go, find another. Damn, he chonk. He big. Another one. Uh. Okay, dark slash. Dark slash are good. We can create stuff with this. Another huge fish, and I'll throw a crap out next to the resting spot. Oh, we need to throw it in an oil spill. Oh, there's one here. There's one close to the to the harbor, so I can rest. Let's see. That being said, I hope it won't take us an eternity.
plenty of crabs. Good. So now, well, rest. We got a canister on us. This encyclopedia net. All right, she's here. Well, let's put all of this in storage. This miasma. Well, I just rest. She can fix her stuff. Might as well fix that. And let's rest for a full day. Hopefully, we find one. I don't think that's a crowd. I don't know what the hell this was, but hopefully we can get one. So let's see. It's here. No, nope. two ginormous crabs. That's the thing. I don't know if the net I have kind of screws it up. So I'll pick it up and I'll throw it right here in the middle. It says we have plenty of crabs. So I'm just gonna wait until I find one. Surely now. There we go. Found it. Some ginormous crab. And let's just make sure the thing in the storage didn't get completely screwed. Because it's been a few days. Okay. It's stale. That is fine. So wait, let's put you here. Keep those in storage. <sighs> Sell you guys. And now we go back to the rig, and that's pretty much it, right? We literally finished all of that. That was lightning quick. That was too quick even. We catched all those fish, but the good thing is the oil rig is right next like right next to us, so we literally just <laughs> come in and turn in the quest. I get that the DLC is supposed to be complementary to the main game, but once you finish the main game, the DLC is like two seconds. So I just find it hilarious. Sound club. It. Uh, big fish. Wait, I didn't catch the right fish? Ooh, that's crazy. I missed the right fish. Opanivia. Oh. Okay, I thought for sure this was the big one. Okay, so let's sell it. And let's go back to the Twisted Strands, I guess. See, guys, I have memory issues. Let's go to the oil spill. Oh, wait, I also didn't pick up my crab trap. So I might as well just do that. Totally forgot about that. I get too excited. Oh boy. At least it's super close. So let's see. Well, how did I miss this one tiny fish? It's probably in here. Uh huh. Let's return the troll net. Back up. Is this it? Carpina. Gar. Was that the fish? No, that was the big one. Okay, that's a trophy at least. Tarpen. Okay. Hmm. The fish isn't here. Let's go here then. At least the annoying creatures aren't here because we blew them the hell up. So that is fantastic. And it says there's an oil in here. Oh, there it is. Found you. Great. While we're here, might as well collect some more. Ooh, we got an aberration. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm just gonna use Manifest. Just because I really don't wanna bother even trying to leave this place. I, I actually despise it so much. 
I just rather like do the, this this route right here. It may not be the fastest, but it's the definitely the less annoying one. I hate the twisted train. I mean, the way you just so complex. I mean, it's not complex. It's just so annoying to navigate. You, I always screw up my hole because I'm such a bad driver in this game. But that that's on me. That's not on the game. That's not the game's fault. I'm just trash. That's basically it. You know, I blame video games whenever they screw up, but whenever I screw up, I, I'll say it. That's definitely a me problem. But at least we didn't have those annoying creatures chasing us all over the place. So that's at least the good part whenever you come to this DLC after already finishing the main game. There we go. In the name of science, take the fish. With the corporation leadership here, I have to focus. There are pressures acting upon me. We must know where these creatures entered, where the blood. He places the specimens into a large metal chamber before sealing the lid. A motor runs briefly and the pressure gauge on the chamber rises. The Elder communicates in power. He flips a large switch and the metal chamber begins to spin slowly at first, then accelerating until the whole thing is a blur. Needles etch onto the graph paper, transcribing the ascent of something. Scratched out at speed, a dark fluid rises from a tube connected to the chamber. Not yet. Pure. We'll need more. Down. Deeper. Outside, the executive is talking to the foreman. Huh. We're almost there. Give it another push. How much power can we give this huh. thing? Sir, I don't think we really shouldn't. The executive shoots the foreman a glance, disdain and dismissal lacing the muscles on his face. The foreman backs down, defeated. <sighs> Setting the drill to full power, sir. Machinery in the drill tower steps into overdrive, blurring the air with the sound of gearing turning. The one, less push. What's that noise? Oh god, we made Cthulhu mad. Yeah, I told you. What the hell is that? That's some Ouroboros shit. Whoa. The final crack. Straight to the Devil's Reef. Uh, this is the place that is all orange. As the roar of the giant creature fades, it leaves behind a silence on all that witnessed it. Faces stare from the windows and hands grip railing, trying to process the spectacle. Yeah, this was some One Piece seeking huh. suit. Boss, that must have been the thing that got all, uh, all of our material shipments, and now it's coming for the rig! A murmur of panic began to rise on the onlooker, hmm. from the onlooker. No, we're close now, and it knows it. How long will it take for a drill to break through the next layer? Uh, it still has a little way to go, but you can't be serious, surely. Not with that thing in water here. Our lives are in danger if you and you want to keep drilling. <laughs> Get it done. The executive turns and walk away towards his office, leaving the foreman shaking his head. He's insane. What the hell are we doing here? This drill, whatever down here, we shouldn't be disturbing <laughs> it. Fisherman, you've got to help us. You won't listen to reason, but perhaps you'll listen to an operational setback. What do you have in mind? We can't shut down the drill ourselves, not without repercussions from corporations following us the rest of our lives. But if it were to be damaged by a force of nature or a force of the deep, we'd have no choice but to abandon our position. I know it sounds crazy, but the defenses were to stop operating suddenly. It would leave the drill vulnerable. Please, have a think what you can do. Okay, so we have defenses and science lab. See, oh, DLC went insane. Are you okay? The inevitable. Conclusion. He rocks back and forth, hand sh shading his eyes from the harsh lights above. <laughs> Our work almost complete. Simple, closer, pure. The devil's fine. The wretches. Where are they? We need four. Uh, what do we have? So sea scorpion, another crabo, and volcanic, hato, and volcanic. Doesn't really matter. We need to get all of them. I just hope I remember them. Got some chunky boys. 
and let's sell our stuff ah. at the generator. Need to fix our stuff here. Defenses. The defenses are operational, admitting you walk the perimeter of the tower, one of the electrical panels hasn't been securely fastened. You open the panel. Inside, a bundle of cables travels from a black box up into the height of the tower. The black box has a number of empty slots on top. Of one model, model inserted into it, label Flea in electrical tape. Considering this is our invention, perhaps the researcher in Stellar Basin would have some advice. Aha. Uh -huh. So we need to go to Stellar Basin. Let's rest. <sighs> also talk to the executive. Why is the Iron Heaven Corporation interested in this region? He scoffs. The corporation has an interest in every region. Over the next few years, you'll come to understand. <sighs> what else? I don't have all day. What is your scientist doing with the fish I've been gathering? <laughs> Whatever he likes. Honestly, even if I care to know myself, I'm not sure why you think I tell uh. you. Bruh. The foreman was telling the truth. Something attacked the rig. The executive makes a show of looking around and peering over a nearby railing. <laughs> well, I don't see it anymore. Do you? Uh. What else? I don't have all day. Is whatever you're here for really worth risking the lives of your people? My people? These are employees. Uh. Shame on you. So, we need to go to the scientist, right? Visit a researcher in Stellar Basin and collect sample from Devil Reef. Uh, I guess we'll... Maybe I'll collect the sample first. It's gonna make things a lot easier because the researcher is like the main quest. So, Devil's Fine, it is. And I already have a lot of the dark stuff. It's kind of cool they added that, but I think that would be, honestly, the DLC would be way too complicated for, like, a new player. In my opinion, at least. It might be too much of a burden for them. Because imagine trying to do all this while trying the main game as well. Sounds kind of difficult. That's the long boy. Also, where is the resting spot? Yeah. Roll that. We'll fold it here. Plenty of crabs. It's one more fish. Here's one harbor. We oh my god, it scared me. We need one more spill. There we did. Is this the fish? Okay. I think that's everything, right? No, wait, we had something. It might have been this one. Oh, Jesus! What the hell was that? It scared the hell out of me, dude. Okay. That's it, right? One, two, three. We had two volcanic and one hadal. Yeah, I think the shallow fish is a bit random. Sawfish. Oh, we got everything we can get. Right, science lab, we got all that we need. Take that, take that, that, take this. With a shocking speed, he rushes towards the table, grabbing at the corpses. The sh oh, Jesus Christ! The chamber burst through the blackboard, barely resembled a scientist. No longer meek and cowed, now a frightening visage of a stretched skin and sharp teeth. With a sickening crunch, he bites down into the sea scorpion carcass, black liquid dripping from its mouth. In the mouth, its terrible head snaps up to lock eyes with yours. A feral cry rises from his lungs, forming an accusatory scream with freshly born claws pointed in your direction. With limbs overcome by frantic spasms, he stumbles towards the nearest window, slowly at first, then arriving at considerable speed. What? 
There's an actual animation? Oh, that... The aberrated form of DeSantis crashes through the glass, driving out beyond the deck of the platform, down hitting the water, and then disappearing into the deep. Wow, that was crazy. Yo, what the hell was that? So, continue to assist the Iron of Corporations. Visit a researcher in Stellar Basin, yeah. So, can we talk with the executive about that? Ah. Uh. No. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Everyone, like, okay. And we're finished with the uh, scientists, at least. So we can sell ah. the generator guy this. Put this here. So all we left to do is go to the cellar basin, ah. right? We pretty much got everything we needed upgraded. <laughs> we're pretty much done. We just need to go to the cellar basin. Talk to me. About those defenses on the rig. Oh, I hope they work. The workers on the rig want to find a way to sabotage them. Found their conscience, have they? I suppose they're wanting it to look like an accident. They wouldn't want to face the corpse wrath if they were found culpable. Huh, I do have a pleasingly elegant idea. Actually, we don't have to sabotage the defense in a traditional sense. If you recall, they emit a sort of word at the moment. They're broadcasting a warning. Flee. <gasps> But we can change that. I have other recordings of other words. Instead of a warning, it could broadcast an invitation. There's one in particular. I've been referring to it by its closest human analog. Rise. I prepared some blueprints for the module. You'll have to assemble it and slot it on top of the black box. Defenses? What do we need? Box. Ink. That's it. Okay, relatively simple. You remove the old module and insert the new one. As clicks as it clicks into place, the sound from the tower changes into a deep rumble. There he is again. Oh, the entire iron rig is going down. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, that was sick! Oh, it's this creature? Man, he's that massive? I thought it was way smaller. <laughs> yeah, he ran away. With the last scraps of metal still falling from the destroyed rail tower, the executive boards his helicopter rotors already s spinning. Huh. Damn it. Hi, is everyone alright? All accounted for in that factory. Hmm. Found it's fine. I guess we'll wait for our airlifts out of here. There's no way I'm traveling anywhere by boat. Yeah, I'll sit tight for now. Fisherman, the, the main buildings are mostly undamaged, so if you still need stuff made, we can sort you out. And the Iron Ruin override the rigged defenses. So that's it. We're done. The Iron Rig. Damn. <laughs> this is it. This is the DLC. Okay, that, that went, wow. This is everything. We're done. There's no more quests. Oh. Not much of anything. Alright. Man, what a DLC. I guess this is the end, right? How long did it take me? I think it took me, in total, if you include my farming time and all of that, I think it took me four hours to complete. That is... Not a lot, but you know what? I'm so glad I supported the developers because it was still amazing. Clearly, this DLC is more of a complementary. It should be... It's more of a complementary DLC to the main game. It's not really anything you should do. I mean, you can definitely do this after finishing the game just like I did, but it's definitely way better if you play the game from scratch with this DLC in because it adds so much, so many things you can do. And that's awesome. That's awesome. All the new fishing line, uh, the fishing tools you can make. Great. Absolutely great. I love that a lot. This was super fun. And man, I don't know if this is the last DLC or something, but I really hope there will be more. Because that's, this was great. I enjoyed that a lot. It was so much fun to just coming back into Dredge again. But yeah, that's definitely all for now. So if you guys enjoy this type of video, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And like and subscribe for more content as usual. But that's all for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.